What is going on, my homies? I got a cool garage talk for you today because we are talking about something new. That, that pretty much nobody has ever seen. So that's always a fun topic and it relates to one of, I guess I love to fish every single way. So I can't even say it's like my favorite way or one of my favorites. Cause dude, literally if I'm catching a fish on a lure, it's my favorite way. So it relates though to one way that I've been super successful in catching fish and that's on a Ned. It's one of the most integral tools for this early spring, kind of spring, even into ledge season, offshore fishing, summer. Basically, when the fish start eating a soft plastic, you can catch them on a Ned. And a Ned's a great tool because not only do you catch numbers, you can catch size of fish. And so I was talking to Val, uh, he owns Gamble Lures, super cool guy, been designing lures, fishing down in Florida for years. And I'm like, hey Val, I'm sick of cutting aces and, and fat aces in half to put on the back of my net heads. Can you help a brother out? He's like, I got you. So what he did is he took a design that, I love throwing like a stick bait on the back of my, my neds. It's super simple. It's a bait that you already have in your boat. It's easy, but I'm always cutting them in half and it gets kind of annoying. And I'll be honest with you too, I really like a sickle or a more pointed tail on my neds and you don't see that that often. So what he did is he took a general ace design. Um, he took kind of that, that round cylindrical stick bait style body. This is a real cool color, pinky, you know, spot, small mouth. And what he did though, is he shortened it up and he came out with this super cool tail. And the reason it's cool is it's because it's sort of two dimensional. It does two different things. One, it's a sickle style pointed tail. Do you see how it's kind of thin pointed? It's actually doing the, the magical shaking that I love, just that, that slight sort of vibration because I think that's super key, especially when you're dealing with fish on beds that you can't see, or maybe kind of sluggish fish. They like things to move without moving. Uh, sight fishing, you can actually see it like happen right in front of your face. Literally, you'll shake the line or shake your rod tip. The bait won't move, but that, that bait will vibrate and it'll shake. And that tail right there does that exact deal. However, it's also flat on one side. So you see when I turn it, it's very pointed and then it gets flat. So what you actually get is, is a gliding style, but shaking bait. Because there's really two ways that, that I catch fish on a Ned predominantly. One, when I'm skipping a dock or casting it out on maybe a structure or around a structure, basically I'm catching those fish on the fall as it glides down. And that flat style tail, just like when you're fishing a beaver or a creature bait, it has that sort of I don't know, that subtle glide. It's not really kicking like a burner crawl or anything like that. It's just sort of gliding down and ever so slightly maybe shaking, you know, stick bait, tail kind of shaking. But at the same time too, the other way that I catch them is kind of down on the bottom. Maybe I'm dragging around where fish are staging. There's some rocks, there's some wood. Um, maybe there's a little ledge or something like that. Or maybe there's fish on beds. And basically I'm dragging that Ned and shaking it ever so slightly in place, just like that. If you guys go back, me and my buddy Miles Murray absolutely whacked some smallmouth on Pickwick that were probably on beds, literally fishing a Ned inch by inch along the bottom, super slow. But as we were fishing it, we were shaking our rod tips, causing that, that bait to kind of shake just like that. So sort of staying in one place, but having action, even though it was still. So that's what I really like about that tail. It provides two different dimensions, both complement the way I already fish a net and the way I already get bit on a net. So there's a bunch of different colors. Uh, so that's pinky right there. This is one that actually hasn't showed up in a really long time and I'm hoping the video does it justice. This is what's called Southern Delight. So you can see it's kind of a core injected color with a transparent sort of limish green slash watermelon, but it has this purple iridescent finish. You can kind of see it on the tail right there. Super subtle. Can you say spotted bass, dude? Super subtle and it just, it has enough little bait fish kind of finish to it where it'll mimic bait fish as well as whatever kind of like little green minnows or crawfish or whatever kind of you're dealing with that's more towards the bottom that are in the lake. Uh, we talked about pinky. Then of course, you know, classic color, black blue tip all have that same little tail right there, but a little darker water, or maybe you're dealing with some, some stain in the water for some, from some rains. And then another one of my favorite colors, this guy right here, Magic Craw, you know, blue iridescent mixed with green pumpkin, kind of a swirl color, perfect for natural style lakes. Um, there is black and blue glitter, super standard. And then there's a couple colors I don't have because they're not out yet, but green pumpkin gold, 
absolute killer for smallmouth, dude. It's got green pumpkin, it's got a little bit of flash to it, and then there's some purple fleck in it as well. And what's the other one? Oh, Hammond's herring. You guys know how much I love Hammond's herring on my A-Rigs. Tim over at um, Hammond's uh, over on Lanier, he kind of designed that color to mimic the herring that are in Lake Lanier, but it is a perfect sort of swim bait color. And that's what's really cool too, is I've been playing around with using a Ned to sort of mimic small bait fish as well as like little crawfish and that. So that Hammond's herring is kind of a, a pearl sort of green swirl to it. It looks absolutely amazing as a clear water color. And then there's also green pumpkin. You know, you got your super standard colors, your finesse colors, all the way to something darker to cover your more stained situations. The other thing that I'll throw at you kind of as we wrap up, what's very cool with this is, as you guys know, I like doing a little more of a mag style Ned. I kind of got that idea from JT Kenny. And this is not your traditional Ned. It's not super tiny. It comes in about three and a half inches. So it has a little more length to it. It's pretty thin, but it's about ace, you know, standard four and a half, five inch stick bait kind of thin. So it has a little bit of girth to it, which I like because I think this time of year as we go into that spring period, fish like a chunkier kind of meal, but at the same time they want it shorter and tinier. So it's kind of like a combination of that. It, it's fat, but it's short. But coming in at three and a half inches, one of the cool things that you can do with it is not only put it on a Ned, but you could also punch this thing. I could easily put that on a straight shank, punch through mats, punch through thick vegetation with it. The other thing that I think is really cool, we've been talking a lot about spots, and I have pinky in my hand, or even smallmouth. A lot of times this time of year, shaky heads, you know, doing your old school kind of doodle rig is a great way to catch them. And the length on this guy allows you to put it on a shaky head. I actually put it on a gambler giggy head um, to play around with a bit when I had some prototypes down in Florida. And what's really neat with this guy is it's a shorter stubby presentation, but that tail on the shaky head gives it this cool glide, man, as it goes down. So you're throwing to a bank or whatever, and that shaky head is just kind of gliding down. It's a very cool look because like I said, 90% of the time I get my bites when that bait is falling or when I'm dragging and shaking it. And that tail complements both of those types of presentations. But check it out, I'll put a link to it at Tackle Warehouse down in the description box. It's the new Power Ned Worm. Syncs up perfectly with the Gambler Power Ned head or any kind of Ned head you wanna throw during this early spring to throughout summer, I guess, period. But tight lines, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you're throwing a Ned in spring because you will catch a bunch and you will catch bigs. We'll see you next time from the garage or back out on the water, tight lines. That's a bigger one.